Hi everyone, Ravi this side. Welcome to Engineering Adda. So today I will be discussing about the Spring Boot Dev Tool, which is a starter dependency in the Spring Boot, and it helps us in doing the automatic restart and the live reload. So what is uh, what is automatic restart and live reload? So automatic restart is something like if you have created one application, a Spring Boot application, okay, and then you did some development, like you have created one API there, okay, and you started application to check that API, and that API is working fine. Now you are going to develop a second API, and at the time when you are going for some development, and your application is already up, so the second time when your second development is completed or second API you have developed, then the next time you are uh, to check that second API, you are going to restart your application. But when you include the Spring Boot Dev Tool, you you have not to restart it again. What you can do, you can simply just save your code, new development or new API that you have created, and then it automatically restart the server for you, and you can just check for check your APIs there or check your development there. What is live reload? So when if you have worked for the front-end application like React or Angular, then you might be knowing about the term live reload. So what is live reload? Live reload is something, uh, whatever you are fetching on the server side, it should be lively reloaded. Like if you have created the second application or second API and you change some messages inside the second API, then that would be lively reflected on the server side okay so i am just going to develop one application and then i will show you uh, how the spring boot dev tool helps us as a developer and what is automatic restart and live reload okay so i am using the sts spring tool suit as a id okay i'm just going to open it and create a new starter spring starter project okay and just name it like dev tool project something like that and uh, we'll uh, the Java version we are using in 17. Okay, next. So we need this uh, developer tool. This is Spring Boot Dev Tool as a starter dependency in our project, and we'll also need the web Spring Web in our project. So just uh, include those, and then I'm just creating the project here. So yeah, you can see uh, it is showing Dev Tool is there. Okay, now just open it and then yeah we can see the application is created now i'm just uh, trying to run the application first and then we'll see that how it is performing how so you can see this application is up on uh, port number 8080 now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to create one api in the same class so i'm just uh, going to use this rest control controller uh, annotation import it and I'm just going to create one get API so for that I'm just uh, using the get mapping and just include this as well and then uh, what I will do I'm just going to create one uh, simple method which is returning the string here so just say public string get message something like that and then it should return something so return uh, welcome to engineering adda okay this is returning this message and here i'm just going to map this api to something like hello or hi so say hi and then we'll uh, what it will return it will return welcome to engineering adda so i did this development now i'm not going to restart our application what I am going to do is just simply save this code. So I'm just doing Control S, and now you can see it is automatically restart. So this is what automatic restart uh, that is uh, like the Spring Dev Tool is giving us the feature automatic restart. So we need to do some code changes, uh, and then we can just do Control S, then it automatically restart, and then we can see our codes how it is working. We need not to restart the application okay so i'm going to the browser and then uh, i'm just going to hit something so say it is uh, hi and then you can see welcome to engineering adda so it is working fine 
and now I will uh, explain you the term live reload the second term live reload how it is helping in the live reload so here you can see uh, the return type for this API is welcome to engineering Adobe which is a string type okay now I'm just changing this string to welcome to YouTube okay and then what I can say I will just uh, change it and then I just save it and you can come here and then you can see it is automatically reflected here okay so that is what both terms means and this is how uh, the dev tool is helping us so thanks for the video guys thanks for support if you like this video uh, then please like the video and then if you need such type of development related videos and then i already have couple of uh, development related spring boot development related videos you can check them and please subscribe the channel thanks